What's up everybody, welcome to the first of our NAB coverage uh, videos. And today we're starting with kind of the first announcement, which is the new DJI Inspire 3 drone system, which has uh, been a long time coming. It's been several years since they've had an update to this system. So we're just gonna talk over some specs really quick, talk about some pricing, show some footage, and be on to the next one. So, first off, brand new full frame 8K sensor in the X9. Uh, looks like it's gonna be 8K up to 75 FPS, and that's going to be if you shoot in uh, 24 to one. Also, you can do 4K 120, which is also great because it sounds like it's super sampled down, so you're not gonna get cropping, which is really, really awesome. Now, you can do Cinema DNG, ProRes Raw, also other flavors of ProRes, which is really awesome. Really cool thing here, though, dual native ISO, which is really great. So you got 800 and 4,000. So shooting at night, shooting in the day, it's really great. Obviously shooting at night has some extra precaution in general when doing uh, drone flying, but this is really nice to now be able to catch natural light of all of the uh, stuff going on in cities with just what is available for ambient lighting. Now, one of the biggest things that I feel like is on this that is really great is the new ability for your tilt. So I feel like this has always been limiting in all the drones that DJI has put out, which is how far the camera can tilt up before seeing rotors, props, all that stuff. So 80 degrees up to 100 degrees max tilt, uh, 80 degrees is unobstructed, which is almost vertical, which is super great. Now you can do a lot of those boom up shots, coming down shots. I think this is a huge upgrade over the 40 degree angle that was previously on the Inspire 2. Now, another big thing here, which is great, is time code sync through the 3.5 mil port. Now this is, in my opinion, really great on professional shoots, because a lot of times you want to use this in a tripod mode. You're using this as some part of a bigger shot where it might be drone that's a handoff as it comes down and you're running audio. Time code is going to help everybody's life on set uh, when you are factoring audio into the equation. Now, moving on to some other stuff in here, new wide angle uh, FPV for the front, so for your pilot, which is great. Gives you a lot more ability to see what's around you as you're flying. Uh, big one here, new batteries. Uh, I feel like they always claimed a pretty 24 minute battery life on the Inspire 2. I almost never got that when I flew that package. Uh, they're claiming close to 30 minutes on the new batteries on this system, which if it is actually 30 minutes, I think that's gonna be a really big upgrade because I always felt as soon as it went up in the air, it was basically time to bring it back down. So having a lot more time on the batteries is gonna be great, as well as the ability to hot swap, which is really, really nice. Now, the new screen is great on this system. It's 1200 nits, which is great for flying outside in the daytime. It's gonna be plenty bright to pretty much fly in any circumstance. The new transmission system is up to 15 kilometers, 1080p, which is bananas in terms of distance, which is really cool. You can do 4K live feeds uh, if you're doing for news, out of, you know, send it out from the controller to something else to recorder. A lot of stuff there, which is really fun. You can still do dual op, which is pretty much the only way that I flew when I did this before. You get so much more control over your choreography. Um, everything's just a little bit safer that way, so that is really nice. Overall, I think this is a really big upgrade, especially when you consider uh, all the new obstacle tracking modes that are in some of their other drones coming into this system. I think it's gonna be really versatile, especially the ability to fly faster now that the chassis is much lighter. Uh, it's gonna break down into a smaller package and you've got the Pro SSDs, uh, one terabytes, uh, because you'll be filling them up very fast, especially if you're shooting in Cinema DNG. I think overall this is a, a really solid upgrade that'll last for a few years, especially on the new mount system. If you're able to put E-mount, L-mount with a conversion adapter, there's so many more lenses you can put on this besides just DJI's uh, new aspherical lenses that they came out with for full frame that also look great, but now you have the option for other lenses, maybe a little more character, and still be on your Inspire 2 platform without having to go to a heavy lift. So all in all, I think it's a really great upgrade from DJI. Can't wait to get our hands on one here. All right, pricing. Let's talk about pricing. First, it is not cheap. The base package, which comes with your average accessories, the body, uh, the gimbal, a controller, six batteries, a battery charger, one, uh, one terabyte SSD, some cables in the case, uh, starts at $16,499. By the time you add 
more batteries, more media, all your lenses and some other accessories, it's easy to be well over $30,000 US, which is a pretty insane price tag when you think about it. But if you look at it this way, the lifespan of the Inspire 2 is around seven years. If this also has a seven year lifespan, that's around $4,000 a year you're paying for this drone. It's like two jobs a year that you take this out on to really cover the cost of it, which if you were a professional drone operator, I don't think that's a crazy ask. So I don't think the pricing is too far off from what you actually get out of this package. Thanks for tuning in on this NAB video. Really like what DJI is doing with their drone stuff. Stay tuned for more content coming out this week covering NAB.